because the beat and the melody uh, under people talking allows them to pretty much say whatever they want to say. And, you know, through music, people spit some of the most vilest, um, corrupt things that you can that you can imagine and they call it music but it's really just all kind of things hate speech it's arrogance it's ostentation it's all of these things and it's just labeled as music and so we can be the most pious Muslim and every once in a while listen to some music now depending on what that music is that little sliver can cause a, a crack in your deen. And when we listen to the music, we, of, we often visualize ourselves there. We often, it kind of gets us pumped up because we look, uh, we admire the, the people that are, that are singing or we, we, we have fun envisioning some of the things that they're talking about. And all of these things, if they're not pointing you to Allah, uh, these things are not good and nine chances out of ten you will see a, a drastic difference if you put your foot down and say I don't want to listen to music anymore you will notice that your um, thoughts will be more positive you will notice that you have more room and more time to contemplate and to remember a lot and you will notice how uh, just more positive in general that you'll be. Because music, it, it takes up space in your head that should only be filled by Allah or the Quran. And so when you indulge in the act of listening to music, um, a lot of people would agree that it's it's a waste of time. That it's a waste of time.